Hello, I am Professor Doe, and this is a video tutorial on how to access and do discussion board assignments. Okay, I've gotten a lot of questions about this in my online courses, and so I thought I'd do one to show you how to do that. Okay, so here's a window, and we are now in a class. This is for my medical terminology class. Um, you might want to adjust this if you're in a different class to whichever uh, you are whichever however the course is structured for for that particular one okay so I'm gonna this I'm gonna go ahead and click on the home page and we're taken here to the home page obviously and then I would click on modules and then you scroll down to the discussion that is relevant to you and I can click on here student-led seminar discussion one now, of course, you are wondering why didn't I just click on the discussion button and then just click on that seminar discussion one. Well, the reason why is because not all discussions will be available here. A lot of times you need to access those discussions by going through the course module page by page and then opening it up through there. If you haven't done that yet, then those discussions won't be available to you. Okay, it will show us a blank. For example, I have eight discussions. Only one is listed here. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and click on the uh, first one here, this. And you're taken to this particular page. You can see here are the instructions. You want to make sure that you read all these instructions. Um, it tells you exactly how to do your initial post. It tells you how to do your response post. Uh, a lot of times I like to put a rubric here. So if you need to see the rubric, you can click on this little icon here and it says show rubric and when you click on that it will tell you uh, the criteria that you need to meet in order to achieve those points okay um, some instructors use them I, I use them for the most part others might not they just tell you straight out on the instruction page whichever is used for that class please be sure that you follow those okay so here are the instructions you want to make sure that you read this now how do you do your first post at the very bottom here there's a little reply button Okay, you'll see that there's a little reply button you click on this and then once you click on that then you're taken into what you can uh, type so I'm gonna go ahead and type something here hello this is a sample of my discussion board post okay thank you for reading blah 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 yeah yeah uh, yeah <laughs> yeah okay and then I'm gonna sign my name and then below that, please write the word count, okay? Because some uh, some class uh, some classes require that you have a word count. For this semester, um, I do have a word count, and for this particular class, it is within 100 to 150 words. So you want to make sure that you count the number of words uh, that are in there and write down 150 words or however many words that is, okay? So make sure you do have that word count, okay? So um, you can copy, oh, actually, it tells you right here the number of words. Okay, so please <laughs> write that here and let me know how many words that is, okay? All right, and then you would click the post reply, and then you will see here that here is the um, your post, okay? So that will be your initial post. A lot of instructors, and all, uh, most if not all the classes that I've seen, ask students to do a response post. And just to let you know that response and initial posts or original posts and response posts or reply posts, there are different names for it. They have different due dates. So you want to make sure that you keep up to date with your syllabus uh, and the announcement page for the accurate due dates and even email. Some instructors like email. I personally like to use the Canvas inbox and uh, mainly the announcement page for something like that or, um, or, or uh, I rarely use email. Okay. All right. Make sure you follow all the instructions given. Okay, that's key. And you answer all the questions that the discussion board is asking you uh, to do. Make sure, if you're in my class, make sure that you access the current discussion board instructions. Don't go off of this video because I might have changed it. And make sure that you follow those instructions. This is just a demo video. Okay. All right, so now it's time to do your response post. So you're going to scroll down. There's going to be a whole heck of a lot of these posts. And you want to respond to a student's original or initial post, okay? And so, say for example, this is it. Oh wow, this is the student's initial post. So you want to click reply. You can click like. You know that's nice. 
uh, you can <laughs> you can click reply to that post and then you click reply hello test student this is a reply to your post uh, na 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 ya 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 yes okay thank you for your post it was most inspiring sincerely professor doe word count okay and then you write down that word count all right so this is the and you click post reply now once again if you are using any sort of outside sources you want to make sure that you follow uh, uh, cite those sources and follow whatever format the instructor is asking of you um, and provide a link to to that particular resource if you are doing so uh, so that the instructor or your colleagues can access them and kind of catch up to speed with what it is that you were reading and and kind of know where, where your thoughts were going toward okay and where it's based off of I mean so all right so that's pretty much it on how to do discussion board posts you can subscribe to the discussion board so any sort of updates or any sort of new posts that happened will get sent to your canvas inbox or email whichever one you've set for your notification all right this is about as much as i want to go through for discussion board posts i hope that you found this a very helpful uh, again if you have any questions for me um, i strongly recommend that you canvas inbox me those questions or whatever is current at the time by myself or your instructor and that's pretty much about it all right okay hope you guys found this helpful and uh, that's about it best of wishes to your success and uh, see you in the virtual world hopefully <laughs>